Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter Once upon a time there were four little rabbits Their names were Flopsy Mopsy Cottontail and Peter They lived with their mother underneath the root of a very big tree Now my children said old Mrs Rabbit one morning You may go into the fields or down the lane but don't go into Mr McGregor's garden Now run along and don't get into mischief I am going out Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail who were good little bunnies went down the lane to gather blackberries but Peter who was very naughty ran straight away to Mr McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate First he ate some carrots and some beans then when he went to look for some radishes he met Mr McGregor at the corner of the garden Mr McGregor was on his hands and knees planting out young cabbages but he jumped up and ran after Peter calling out stop thief Peter was very frightened he ran on and went faster but unfortunately he ran into a net and got caught Peter began to shed big tears His sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows. "You must save yourself, Peter," they said to him. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve which he wanted to pop up upon the top of Peter, but Peter wriggled just in time. He rushed into the tool shed and hid there for some time. Mr McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed perhaps under a flower pot so he began looking under each soon peter sneezed catch Mr McGregor was after him in no time. Peter quickly jumped out of the window since the window was too small for Mr McGregor and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and shaking with fright. He went back towards the tool shed then he climbed up upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over He saw Mr McGregor removing weeds from his garden His back was turned towards Peter and beyond him was a gate Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go Mr McGregor caught sight of him at the corner but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate of the garden and never stopped running till he got home to the big tree.